Kick it on Lori Perez begins our coverage tonight from Silmar, where fire crews got control of a fast moving wildfire. Fire crews are cleaning up here after a heck of a scare. We have video showing the dramatic scene here just after eight tonight. The severe winds just whipping up raging flames in all directions. What a scene. Embers were flying across the freeway. CHP had to shut the 210 down and the fire got dangerously close to nearby condos before firefighters were able to get the upper hand. This is a perfect example of what firefighters worry about with gusts like we are seeing today. Super windy. Oh my God. He said it. Gusting winds whipped the Santa Clarita Valley into a frenzy today, blowing anything that would move and some things that normally don't, like this lamppost right off its cement base and this tree into a condo. My neighbor heard the crack and he says, I think a branch fell down from my tree. As you can see, that's not a branch. With severe wind comes increased risk of wind driven fires. The Towsley Canyon fire kept crews busy, spreading to more than 150 acres, even as air support tried to stop its progress. No one was hurt and no structures threatened. Locals, though, were ready to roll if that changed. I mean, it's fire country out here. It's always a worry. But I mean, we're prepared. We've got an emergency kit. The Tao family was still smiling. They had a generator to keep their lights on after SoCal Edison shut off power in their neighborhood and to almost 18,000 residents in L.A. County early Tuesday morning. A precaution in areas with high fire danger and lots of dry brush. Neighbors here said they've been told power won't be back on until Thursday. This dad had his hands and his truck full after hearing that. It's tough. It's tough, but... We'll hang in there. Overall, SoCal Edison has shut down power to more than 67,000 customers. A spokesman said tonight they will restore power just as soon as the winds and the risk diminish. In Silmar, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News.